Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you're watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place where I buy all things photo and video. In this episode of Exploring the Creative Process, I'm going to talk about a photo shoot that I did for Trail Runner magazine years ago, almost a decade ago. Now, the preconceived idea was go to the foothills of the San Francisco Bay Area, the Oakland Hills, and shoot beautiful trail running images. But it turns out every assignment doesn't play out exactly the way you think it will. And that's really the essence of this exploring the creative process. When you expect one type of weather and you get inclement weather, you need to embrace it rather than look at it as a problem. On morning one of the shoot, we went out to shoot trail running in the Oakland Hills. And rather than a classic California sunny day, we had overcast skies, really heavy fog with a bit of mist coming out of the sky. Of course, I did what everyone does. I panicked at first and thought, oh no, the editors are going to be so upset. How am I going to make these pictures that I had preconceived? And then I really tried to change gears and embrace the idea that inclement weather, overcast weather, rain, snow, wind, oftentimes makes for more compelling photography and video. So I switched gears, really slowed down, and decided I'm still going to photograph trail running, but I'm going to embrace the environment, embrace the situation that I have to work with. So in this case, we ended up shooting in a, in a stand of trees, kind of a tunnel of trees, and it was very dark. You can imagine, even with the sun out inside a, a tunnel of trees, oftentimes you're several stops darker. But when there's sunshine, you'd have dappled light, you'd have shafts of light coming through, which makes it very hard to work in that environment. But with overcast light, moody overcast light, it made for a really cool environment. By slowing my shutter speed to 15th of a second, I could really create that feeling of motion, create that illusion of moving fast up the trail through the Oakland foothills. The runner in this photograph, Garrett Grubbins, actually had his dog with him that morning. And so, of course, with dogs, it's very hard to wrangle them. They don't do what you ask them to do. Certainly not my dog. And so every fourth or fifth pass, Garrett would run past the camera and occasionally his dog would actually be in tow or be in front of him. I think this is my favorite photograph from that situation because it all came together. It's 15th of a second. There's just enough motion blur and form of the subject that you understand he's running. There's context. We're in this beautiful environment. And Garrett's dog was out in front with just enough motion blur. It's very subtle, but it adds some complexity to the photograph. I shot this photograph several years ago, actually pre-digital. I was shooting on Fuji Velvia film. But today, if I were to make this picture, I would certainly be on my new favorite camera, the Nikon D750, because it's ultra lightweight, small form factor, FX camera. So if I'm hiking up trails or running with the athletes, it's the most versatile, lightweight camera that allows me to focus on creativity and not just moving heavy equipment. So I would be on the Nikon D750, 16 millimeter fisheye lens, and of course I'd be shooting sand disk memory. No other tools necessary, just getting out there, shooting regardless of the weather, and having a ton of fun in the process. I hope what you take from this episode of exploring the creative process is that you need to embrace inclement weather. Even though it's uncomfortable, even though it makes it harder to work and your lens is getting wet and you're cold and wind is blowing in your face, oftentimes when you push yourself to get out there in inclement weather, you make more interesting pictures because it's, we're just not accustomed as humans to seeing these environments when it's inclement weather. We tend to go inside. Secondarily, I hope you take from this episode that don't be afraid to really slide back and forth on the spectrum of shutter speed. Go slow to create motion. Shoot fast in order to stop action. And get out there and have a ton of fun in the process. I'm Corey Rich. You're watching Adorama TV. There's tons of free content just like this published on a regular basis. If you haven't subscribed to the Adorama YouTube channel, please do and come on back for more educational content just like this. Thanks for listening. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest. There's tons of cool stuff that you can win.
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.